Welcome to The Grit Factor, reimagining grit as part of the whole person in a life that matters. I'm your host, Shannon Huffman Polson. I love those examples of how people say in the midst of all of this, how do we bring a diverse team together towards a common goal in the midst of challenges? And part of it is by stating and putting into that culture, that sense of purpose. So I love that you've brought that up a couple of times. And, uh, and I think you're right. That does cut through a lot of the chaff. Well, and you know, Shannon, it's not new. So you have those great examples and I love the pizza place. <laughs> but look about, look about the, um, think about the age old, like 30 or 40 years ago, uh, example of uh, President Kennedy visiting the Johnson Space Center. Oh, I love this example. The janitor, he encountered a janitor and said, yes. well, what do you do? What do you do here for this um, NASA? Oh, Mr. President, I put a man on the moon. <laughs> He's a janitor. That? So that's the age old example from 40, 50 years ago. Oh, it's wonderful. So we're just, you know, recreating this. So it's very interesting. You and I are sitting here talking about this. So mm-hmm. leaders really need to find a way to create that sense of purpose. And it's not easy. That's why we're still talking about it 50 years later from mm-hmm. that one example we all learn about in our in our lessons. So I think okay. leaders have to sit down and, and really think hard, um, get, get help to help them think about ways they can create that purpose statement and yeah. then make it meaningful. Otherwise it's just words on a wall. Right. And I don't have the answer to that, but I do know that it takes a lot of work when you're not in a controlled environment, like a ship or in an air wing, right. you've got to take it to the um, office or to a virtual environment. And a leader can't just, um, just they can't just be all about operations and um, business and finance. They've got to be about culture yes. and about inclusion. And they got to, make diversity um, a mindset, not just a program. And right now, too many people look at diversity as a program, check the block. It's got to become a culture and a mindset. Absolutely. And that takes more, more engagement, more engaged leadership. There's a lot more nuance. No, I, I love how you said that. And you know, with uh, in the grip factor, I look very much at these leaders' individual development. So working on their own purpose first. And there's a McKinsey study that came out earlier this year that looked at in the midst of this pandemic that's continuing on and will continue on for some time, where purpose is really something that each one of us has to do the work on ourselves, right? And uh, and a leader's got to help people that work for them do that individual work so that they can connect that individual purpose to the organizational purpose. I, I Absolutely. Like in the Coast Guard, you do that really well. In the military, when it's done well, it's done very well. Right. So how do you, how does a leader align their employees' personal goals with the organizational goals, which means you have to have organizational mission, vision, values, and goals. And some organizations, when I get on their website, they don't even have that. Yes. How can you operate without this? Um, I think a lot of them, most people, most organizations have mission, vision, values, goals, a statement in their website, but not all. And then how do you align your employees so that your employees feel like they're achieving their personal goals while they're at work? How good would that be? Yes. Yes. And it's absolutely. not impossible. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. An employee who's achieving their personal goals, which usually are going to be something along the lines of succeeding at work. If sure. you can help them achieve those personal goals, they're going to um, be a better employee and you're going to be a better company. So it's not just a, you know, looking out for the employee, it's looking out for the overall company. If you're helping each employee achieve his or her goals. You can find Sandra at sandrastoltz.com. That's Sandra S-T-O-S-Z dot com, as well as on LinkedIn and Twitter. And pick up her book, Breaking Ice and Breaking Glass, Leading in Uncharted Waters, anywhere books are sold. Thanks for listening to The Grit Factor. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave us a review on your favorite podcast app and share it with a friend. Also, pick up your own copy of The Grit Factor, for more candid stories and lessons from leaders in the vanguards of their fields. And invest in yourself and in your team with learning journeys in grit, leadership, purpose, and storytelling at thegritinstitute.com. Thanks for listening. I hope you'll join me for the next episode of The Grit Factor.